Yo guys, welcome to my channel. It's Rome Xblade, and in today's video, I'll show you how to make simple volumetric light in Prisma 3D. So normally, volumetric light is used when you use an environment which has mist or mist or fog or dust, something like that, like many particles in the air. That's why when the lights come through the particles, the particles shines and it makes a sense like the light has volume so to do that first simply you will need a light source so let's make a light source first so here i'll delete this and make a bridge between this and this line and i'll fill this too then select them and extrude them inwards then upwards done so this will be my light source here is this and a cut okay so this is my light source and let's just extrude the upper part okay done and for reference i'll add a spotlight here spotlight then here and rotate it down 90 degrees okay and you can go to night mode or in night mode it's a little bit complicated because you have to add four sunlights in for each directions so that's a thing angle and then intensity okay done and now for make it for to make it volumetric we have to add a cylinder and Let's take the cylinder here and then select all the mesh of the cylinder and delete the down down part and also the upper faces okay done and then get it here something like this Okay, and let's see where's the light. Okay, and the upper part will be go inside the light. Done, and now we have to decrease the transparency to very low and we have to make this thing like glowing effect to make it glow we have to go to reflection and in specular we have to set it in minus 10 or something like this you can set low or high like this and this is also a thing that you can use in lights so this is a simple volumetric and there are a lot of like you know if you just copy it but first make it group and then if you just copy it and make it a little bit smaller then copy it again and make it a little bit more smaller like this Now as you can see it's a little bit more like looking nice and you can decrease the transparency more so this is how the volumetric light works and for and there is a lot like how can I explain that 
and there is a another trick that is very easy so you can use that too so let me show you so for that you will need a png so you can draw that in ibis paint just rotate the screen okay so here take a square like square canvas and then to make it easier just first color your layer and then add another layer and select a airbrush select white color and then draw the simple line like volumetric light and then hide the lower layer of the black color and then export the png so here make sure to on transparent and then export it and now let's hide them all right just i'll hide it and here take a plane and add the texture to the plane and then adjust the plane like this let's make it a little bit bigger you can just the main thing is you can adjust it to like so adjust it as the light okay and here and now if i make it a glow effect like here adding Ten in specular, and then decrease the transparency. So here you can see it's like more looking nice from the first one. So and now if I go to night mode and add a sunlight and in this direction. decrease the intensity so you can see this is the difference between the first one and the second one and also the first one is very like a little in comparison the first one is more difficult so you can use these two things and and as if you are just making a render then you can use png no problem but for videos the first one is better option because when you rotate like this your camera this will look weird or you can just simply rotate your png2 with your camera so this is a thing and here let me just change the background color so i hope you like the video and you can ask in comments if you have any like doubt i'll try to answer that and if you like the video you know what to do we will meet again in next video bye